so in this video we'll be uh, uh, creating the register out basically uh, in the last video I forgot to add something here so in this I have to check for the password so this method will be working for the password field whether it is modified or not that will that it will check so if it is modified so it basically it should not be modified that it, it will check so let me just save it so it will not rehash the password so after that I can create a simple routes folder in that I will be creating a simple register route oh sorry uh, I have to create an auth route in which I will be creating a simple register route auth routes dot js and for that I will be requiring the express package uh, require express after that I can specify uh, let me just check whether mic is working or not yeah it's working I think yeah so after that I can create a router which is express dot router R should be capital so by using this router variable from the express router method this router object will allow me to create some routes which is router.post like router.get all these things I can create now so I can create router.post and I can specify the register route that I want to create and I will not be directly specifying the function here instead I will be uh, creating them separately in a separate file uh, for that I will be creating a separate controllers folder in which I will be writing controllers for these functions or these routes so uh, let me just create auth controller that will be our file auth controller.js and inside that I can specify an asynchronous function which is let's say name it register user and I can we get to uh, parameters here request and response which we can make use of request is basically in which we'll be getting the all, all the request uh, from this route so request.body is there and other headers or param parameters we can access with this request and res will be used for sending the uh, sending the response back to the user in the front end so for now let me just send some success message here success and I can for now uh, let's add some data from the request.body and I can log this data data okay so this is a simple route we'll be making it complex first let me just make use of that okay oh, I have to also export this in a separate uh, auth controller object I can copy this and and now I can export this controller uh, auth controller I can export it now this auth controller object will ha will be having this register user method that I can make use of in in here so I can write auth controller and I can import it like this you can see I'm importing it from the controllers folder and then I can make use of that function which is nothing but let me just write register user so this register user method will allow us to uh, process this route now one more thing that you have to export this router as well model.exports router because uh, in this file in separately in this file uh, we cannot make use of that right we have to require it in the server.js file which is our main file to process this route or to allow uh, like allow uh, the request from this route we have to require it here because this is our server.js file and this is the, our main file that will process all the uh, routes basically so I can make use of that route by using uh, first of all let me just require that route auth routes or let me just make it auth routes require 
and I can name the file which is routes which is inside routes and auth routes yeah you can import it and you can specify some other fields or some other extra parameters or like route routing paths before this so this api slash api will be added to every route in which uh, i'll be writing let's say i'm writing lo slash login so this, before that this slash api will be appended to that and after that i can specify the auth routes which is there now if i save it and if i see if nothing is happening yeah now i can make request and check for that so our local host is slash slash local host 5000 slash and then i can specify api you remember so after our domain name we have to specify api and then the route of this auth routes so which is register so i can specify register here okay so let's just send this simple body and see what happens did we get any response or not you can see we are getting success message or success response and if you see the console or the server console we can see the body is also there so this doc id and message is also processed in the server i can send any body for now like uh, the actual routing i will be creating in the next video thank you for watching let's meet in the next video so our route is working let's uh, write some uh, write some actual controllers here like the processing or checking the body from the users and then uh, storing it into the database so that will be using in the next video thank you for watching let's meet in the next video